Then the rainstorm came over me. And I felt my spirit break. Hi, my name is Mary Lou Ramos. And I have just been asked the question, what is yoga all about? And that is such an open question because there are so many different styles of yoga. Here at Fitness Quest 10, we are primarily a fitness center. And I'm a holistic health practitioner here. So what I perceive yoga to be all about is whole body wellness. And when we enter a yoga practice, when we're not really sure what that means, we start to find out that the primary uh, treatment that starts to change for ourselves is learning how to breathe properly. And once we learn how to breathe properly, then we can add some movements, corresponding movements with the pace of our breath. And we'll start to realize that throughout most of our daily life, our 24-7, we are very seldom paying attention to the power of our breath, to how we breathe, and how that's affecting all aspects of the body. So yoga in big picture is is a therapy, is a philosophy, is a way of physically, mentally, spiritually connecting to the power of the body. Okay, so if you have never done yoga, it is like any experience that you don't know, a little bit daunting because you're dealing with the unknown. And there are postures that have been around for thousands of years that have names in a foreign language. And so a lot of yoga practices can feel really confusing. And the postures are inverted, which means your head is literally below your heart to help blood flow into your brain, to nourish your brain center. A lot of the postures are twists, a lot of the postures seated, standing, um, moving your body to move into your joints to really flush things out and get all the energy channels, which is called your chi, all of your energy channels in your body open and flowing. So when you're first coming into a practice, it's so beneficial to have a teacher that can help you with your alignment with your understanding, so that as you move through these postures we call asanas, you will have some idea of what to do. So if you're interested in trying some yoga, we offer several classes here at Fitness Quest 10. We offer a mixed level class, so you're welcome to join in at any time. I ask that you talk to me if you have a special circumstance and condition that I need to know about so we can offer some modifications for you. That class is Tuesday, Thursday at 12 noon. It's a nice tune-up in the middle of the day. Another class that we offer is 7 p.m. on Tuesday nights. That is a restorative, hatha, gentle, very meditative call. The other class that we offer once a month, one Sunday of a month. It's typically the first Sunday of the month, but that varies, so we always announce it on our website, or you can call and check. It's typically the first Sunday of the month, 9.30 to 11, to kickstart the month, to set an intention for your life, to help you pay attention to what's going on, and that class is a little bit longer. It's 9.30 to 11. We call it our master class because the idea is how to master yourself. It does not mean you need to be a master of yoga to come to the class. So you're welcome to any of those if that sounds inviting to you and hope to see you. What I love about yoga is even though strength training and cardio and some of those things come easy for me, yoga is actually very difficult for me to open up, to relax, to get in the flow of yoga or to even take the time to just stretch and lengthen out. But the way the classes are done here and through Mary Lou's teaching, it makes it really easy even if you're new to yoga. Even if you've never done it before or don't feel like you're flexible enough to do yoga, I've found that it's been a great, great practice for me. And it's something that I feel really comfortable even though I don't have a lot of experience doing yoga. I've been coming to Fitness Quest 10 for nine years. I started yoga very early. And the hour I spend with her is a, a great physical hour. It's a spiritual hour. It's very calming. I take the hour. Uh, it's great at noontime. A couple of days a week, so it calms my day down um, and stops me from rushing everywhere. Um, the best part for me is it's allowed me to, to stay a competitive athlete as I approach 60 years of age and, and still compete with people who are, some could be my kids, some could be my grandkids, but, but I'm, I'm living life the way I want to and I know you're a big part of that.
you see And realize my mistake But time Through a prayer to 